Okay. And then just sequel after sequel after sequel. There was no character development at all. Just that on pure technical levels. There are filmmakers that don't want it just to be an entertainment experience. Hello and welcome to Mid Academy and Line Film Dive Podcast. And today we're going to be discussing Disney animation. Zootopia. Now this was an interesting one because how many animal things have come out and were coming out at this time? I feel like there was such an influx of furry animals yeah. and all that sort of thing. It we had like Madagascar. Yeah, yeah. We had... Oh, I could be here all day listing there's animals. There's a zoo one and other zoo yeah, one. I think there was. Yeah. Yeah, there's always been that focus on animals. You mm. know, big fluffy animals and you can sell the shit out of them for... Ever since like Dumbo, Bambi, mm. you know, it's all those kind of ones. It's, yeah. Continuing off with that. And it, when I heard of it, I saw Zootopia, you know, it's like... I was like, it doesn't seem too yeah. original to me. No, and I was kind of like, well... How are they I gonna, don't know. How's this going to be interesting? And then, but I did have faith because it's Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess when I eventually did see it, I was just kind of like, wow, this actually reminded me a lot of like Roger Rabbit. Mm, yeah. yeah. Who framed it did, Roger yeah, Rabbit. Yeah. I had like, a little that kind of vibe because I think it's the whole crime mystery sort of yeah. cops and stuff like that in it. And I liked all that. I liked yeah. all that. And it kind of had that kind of 80s feel to it to me. I was pre- pleasantly surprised. I went out of it and said, wow, that was, you know, actually a pretty solid film. Mm. Where that, yes, there were animals, but they didn't have to be animals. No. They could have been people and it still would have been the same story, effectively. Yeah. But it was absolutely. cool to play on different characters. Like, got the sloths. Yeah. The sloths that were really I slow. I loved that. Yeah. I lost myself. Yeah. yeah I think everyone loses them. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That. <laughs> Because we all know what it's like. Like for us, we go into Centrelink or something. Yeah. Some government organization and they're just slow. Waiting in the queue. And you're just like, oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, once again, they were just sort of smashing it now, weren't they? Because mm. from Frozen, well, wreck of Ralph, Frozen, um, Zootopia, oh, Big Hero Big 6. Six. Yeah. Like they're all making big numbers mm. and they're all successful. They're all, so this was sort of, Doing better than Pixar at this stage, yeah, I it was, yeah. yeah, it was almost outshining a lot of Pixar's content. Like you got Good School, Dinosaur, Good Dinosaur, that was really sub- Cars up. Three. You know, yeah. at this time we had, um, and the other joint project that they did, what was more Pixar, was um, Brave. Yeah. So I think that was another joint. Yeah. It's not a hundred percent Pixar. It was kind of shared with Disney as mm. well. So that was like, yeah, it's a funny time. But the Disney animation was really kind of lifting up yeah and pixar was dipping down yeah then we had moana which was interesting approach different culture which was really interesting when you think of a disney princess you're thinking about you know the more typical castle Mm. all that kind of thing it's pretty much how they've approached that's how it's been approached up until this stage like we had a a few little different styles there but this was completely different approach was Mm. the islander approach where it was doing something that was very completely different and once again, I'll mention it. It really reminded me of um, Lilo and Stitch, mm, which yeah. which was Hawaii. Yeah, which was Hawaii, yeah. and mm. and and really had that same kind of vibe about mm. it. Tropical and the water bearing sort of civilization kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also that Pixar short, the volcano one. Yeah, that was great. Too. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of reminded me of those a lot, and mm-hmm. and it was kind of like yeah, a continuation yeah. of that idea. But it was it was great because they played on they played on their culture and mm. what it, what it, that culture means to them. The idea of family and sticking together and mm. being very rooted in culture and mm. living all together as one, which is great. And they sort of played with that idea about you know she's earning to go off on her own, yeah. and that culture is more about sticking together and supporting each other. Yeah. Um, so there was a very delicate balance there where they played with that idea. It also reminded me of a bit of Little Mermaid too. Yeah, I had Little a Mermaid. bit of that sort yeah. of, oh, I guess because of the ocean, but you know, just some of the way they went yeah. about things in it. And but it was the same, like Little Mermaid, she wanted to go off to the yeah. land. Yeah. And this one, she wanted to go off and explore the ocean. So yeah, it was the, the, the reverse. reverse. Yeah. The music for this one, I'm, mm. you know, I'm not one big on the musicals and the songs and Disney films. That used to be a big turn off for me. Yeah, uh, but this one I was so pleasantly surprised with the music and mm-hmm. the rock. You know, I think that was a solid, you know, solid the rock. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, that was a great um, casting there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did really well. Yeah, and it seemed like he went all out, and they must have worked really hard with him to try and mm-hmm. get those performances right. 
Um, and also... And the Unknown, they cast an Unknown for yeah, Moana, which, which is, is great. great. They actually went out and sourced. Helped, you know, they did auditions. Mm. And she was the, one of the ones that went through there. And I was, I was surprised I haven't seen her much ever since. I was expecting to see her in all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You know, maybe she might. You know, yeah. she's still she's still young, so you never know. Yeah. Um, and also, obviously, the crab, Jermaine Clement from that Flight of the great. Concords. Flight of the Concords. <laughs> as soon as I heard that voice. Yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, perfect. You could see that he threw in his own, his own humour there. Oh, too, that, they must have good. just let him write that song because yeah. that's him all the way. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was solid. so good. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so great cast, great animation, great songs. Yeah, it was, the other thing is, it was interesting that they used the, the ocean as its own character yeah. and played off yeah. with that, which Loved was that. really fun. Yeah. Had some comical moments there with the water there. And mm. it, was, it was good. Yeah, yeah, they really did well in, in his tattoos as well. Mm-hmm. They'd move. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, the chicken. Yeah. Obviously the chicken. <laughs> so, yeah, some great, great stuff in that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really good, really good. But again, it was another nice heartwarming it always has that and i think that's the that's the key to a lot of the disney mm. animations it's just that the, the heart they're able to put in it man they're really knocking it out of the park with the the princess stuff now like mm. frozen and that yeah and that brings us to the i guess the next one the last one which is frozen 2 which i don't think you've seen no but i saw it solid story they're building more of a mythology around the the disney the, the frozen sort of brand World. IP yeah. which they're expanding on which is interesting you can see they're clearly building up for maybe they might make a TV show or something out of it yeah um, interesting but I think for me the visuals were just they're really they're really getting solid the, the wave simulations is just my god if there's a certain scene I think it's on the trailer Elsa's running into the ocean mm. just the waves okay really took me back when I saw that I'm like wow mm, well they've had plenty of practice now yeah <laughs> so but yeah, yeah solid story what you'd expect from Disney mm. again I'm more watching it outside in now because it's yeah, yeah. built around the younger audience mm. but again there's mo- there's plenty for old people to look at mm. take I, away I, from I was able to watch it enjoy it they've built a brand now that standing it, on its own and almost right eclipsing up Pixar now mm. um, with their success yeah. And the the characters, I think the kids are gravitating towards these more than the Pixar stuff now. Yeah, the and Pixar. I think it's more us older people that are more into the Pixar stuff. Yeah, or, or wanting to be more into the Pixar stuff. Yeah, it's it's funny because I don't know. The, my takeaway with the Pixar things is I think, and this could just be my this is my opinion. Mm. It feels like they're struggling to find their audience. Yeah, they're kind of I finding they're, they're in the middle somewhere. We're like, oh, who do we? Who are we Target. making this for? Who are we targeting? When Disney have they worked that out a century ago, they knew yeah. who they were. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well they've been through through it all for years and years, for decades and decades. And Pixar, yeah, like they're just struggling and yeah. struggling. And it's like it's it's sad at times because you know, you want them to hold on to the the quality, but when they keep releasing yeah, not so good stuff. Well, I haven't I haven't seen their latest. I'm waiting for it to get onto Disney Plus, which you've seen. Yeah, onward, um, onward, which is just a, another continuation of lesser content or quality stuff. Yeah, like I feel like there's some good things in there, but it ain't strong enough for a Pixar film. Like when you're yeah. following on from like Finding Nemo's and Wallys and stuff that was pushing the boundaries and and achieving and um, mastering uh, an element in animation or something that they focus on as yeah. like the core of that film, I feel like they they haven't got things that are the core for these films. Like they're missing one of the most essential ingredients. Their, their purpose, I suppose. Their purpose. Yeah. And I guess it's getting a bit wishy washy with the blending of the studios, mm-hmm. and maybe they are finding it difficult to find their voice and their feet again because they're not a small team anymore they've probably grown a lot there's a lot a lot new blood and they're trying to figure out where they sit with Disney animation now they're almost competing with themselves yeah and and then you've got like all the other animation studios like Blue Sky that have done Rio and Ice yeah. Age and Illumination Illumination Minions and mm-hmm. Despicable Me's and which that is it's you know that's 
in itself is just doing crazy. The kids are going crazy for yeah. it. In terms of quality and animation, it's nowhere near no, these two. But it doesn't matter because they're targeting that real young demographic. Yeah, they've got their audience and they're going for it. Life for pets, you know, baby, boss baby, you mm-hmm. know. And, and then they can re- reel them out pretty quickly because yeah. they're a lot cheaper and easier to make and they don't have to worry and stress about quality ideas yeah, and animation story has, just, doesn't have to be solid you just nah. chuck it on the kids will watch it for an, they're busy for two hours yeah know? yeah and yeah it's um it's a bit frightening for pixar it's like what do they do and yeah. that, that the next film soul is going to be telling mm-hmm. um, oh, i think so this is really we're at the stage now where they have to figure themselves out they mm. have to find their audience again once soul comes out i don't think it's going to be that successful i mm-hmm. think that's going to be another flop it yeah. might be regarded critically quite highly but yeah. I think it's going to be not that successful yeah um, so I'm interested to see where they go from mm. here I'm interested to see where Disney go also mm. um, what they're next because Wreck-It Ralph 2 which we haven't mentioned oh, yeah, yet we haven't, yeah. um, which I thought was a far lesser step down to mm. the others when I saw that I was kind of scratching my head like I couldn't figure out the purpose of this film yeah apart from it just being a continuation and making more money off that brand and ip Mm -hmm. it didn't feel inventive in any way to me it just felt like a cheaper version of the first one yeah i felt the story was lacking i felt the characters and the actors weren't putting in as much i didn't even i didn't really feel much in that film um maybe i need to watch it again but well, I guess my, my takeaway from it was, again, you know, the visuals were there mm. for the most part. Mm. I might just be uh, burnt out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Mm. I wasn't looking too much into it more than that. Mm. Did we need another Wreck-It Ralph? Probably not. I understand <laughs> that they wanted to shove the internet. I was waiting for that. I knew that mm. would be the next one, was mm. adding the internet involved with it. And I just didn't feel like that idea really... Yeah. ...was explored there's, there's well a, enough. There was a few funny moments in it where they had the search engine in it which was something else yeah. someone I don't know knows all or whatever it was I can't remember yeah, the name yeah, yeah. but why didn't they just use Google yeah like things like that and I mm. thought oh maybe it's a licensing thing but they showed Google in other shots so there's a lot of funny things where it's like if you're wanting to go into that sort of uh, nostalgic or not quite nostalgic but that kind of referencing thing the referencing thing yeah. go all in like they had eBay yeah they had right. a, a few others there but they, I think they should have gone harder with that yeah it felt like some of the stuff they were referencing was kind of dated like mm. yeah it, it did. just didn't feel like as current as it should be mm. and on even all the social media stuff yeah. and all and that, that and they had they had a fictional social media site when they could have just used just use Instagram yeah or whatever yeah just use yeah. one of the ones we know Snapchat whatever I don't know Disney's got the money. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TikTok. <Fucking> TikTok. Fucking. <laughs> One of them. Um, the but, themes that I play in there with a little bit were, were interesting, but it did feel disjointed um, where, I can't remember the name, but the, the little girl, yeah. the, the lollipop girl, yeah. whatever her name was, yeah. where she found her, her home in like I didn't, the I world just, that was like full on killing everything. Yeah, I just did not... <laughs> I just did not like not that I believed yeah. in her story or her character. I just did not take to her yeah. in this one. The her little song was a bit weird. I, I wish they didn't put the song in. Oh, I can't remember it. Yeah, they had she had like a Disney moment, which was fun. I, I enjoyed having the Disney characters because it was kind of a bit fun, a bit playful mm. on those Disney princesses. Oh, that's right. Where, I liked all that. Yeah, yeah. where she's like. Where we had the the mm. one from Brave, and she's like, "Oh, that is it." And no yeah, one is yeah, yeah. like, "She's from the other studio." Yeah, that that's funny. right. Yeah, yeah. So little moments like that were Stuff, fun. Yeah, that's cool. Where they're making fun of themselves. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think her character, I don't know, it was a bit hit and miss. Where you know, I kind of get the contradiction where she came from this lollipop land, and then she wants to go into this really grungy, mm. everything gets destroyed land. But I don't know. I find that that character kind of grating. Yeah, I don't know if it's Sarah Silverman, <laughs> her her comedy and her yeah. Just her I mean, voice. I normally like her stuff, but yeah. I don't know this. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't hate is. on her or anything. I'm just saying, I just didn't. <laughs> this one was a very yeah, yeah. I think it was a bit over the top. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It could have just been context. I don't know. Yeah. For chuck it on, kids watch it, they'll enjoy it. Um, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it made the money. I haven't looked into it, but mm. um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what comes next. 
I'm guessing Moana 2, <laughs> and I'm guessing um, I Zootopia 2 yeah, is next, I think. Usually when they made their sequels, they mm. went through Disney Toon Studios, yeah, but they're yeah. still pushing them through their main studio system now, mm. which is a bit... Mm, I think they need to just yeah. focus... Just do one nice, solid story. It'll make the money. You saw Frozen made shitloads of money. Mm. Yes, this Frozen 2 did too, but still, yeah. <laughs> make a brand new thing that can make shitloads of money as well. Mm. What's the next Zootopia going to be called? Zootopia? Yeah, something stupid. <laughs> sure. We'll leave it there. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring that bell. And all that good stuff. And all that stuff. And all the goodies. And I'll we'll see, see you later. See you next time. Adios.